there hasn't been a premium 32 for a few years now because 32 is not such a popular size but if you're limited by size that is probably the best 32 you can get at the moment also check the description below for timestamps and I'll put in measurements and dimensions of the feet or stand whatever it's on first thing in the top the two little feet remote control and instruction book pack quick look there at the TV from the front the side and the back onto the remote control and instruction book pack The standard Samsung remotes, smart remotes, CI card slot reader, UK figure eight mains lead with the right angled input, and treble eight batteries for the standard remote. Looking at the smart remote first, you can see we've got power on and off, voice command, microphone button, multi view button. That one takes you to the other missing visible buttons there. So it's got channel numbers, etc. under that button there. First is left, right, up, down and enter. Back button, play and pause, press play and pause. You get fast forward and rewind there. Home button, volume rocks up and down and in for mute. Channels rock up and down and in for guide. And we've got the quick access Netflix, Prime and Samsung TV Plus. Flip it over. And you've got that solar cell on the back so leave it face down when you're not using it should keep the battery topped up or charged if it runs out completely you can see there we've got a usb type c input so we can just top it up or charge it off our mobile phone charger onto the standard remote got power on and off at the top source or input button channel numbers Teletext where available, doesn't work here in the UK. Pre-channel back to the previous channel. Volume up and down, channels up and down. Mute button and channel list. Quick access, Netflix, Prime and Samsung TV Plus. Home button, cursor arrows up, down, left, right and enter. Return to go backwards step by step. Exit takes you all the way out. Colored buttons there for different apps. Settings takes you straight to the settings, info for the info bar, audio description and subtitles button, play stop, forwards and rewind buttons there for apps and media playback. Flip it over, that pushes down and slides out, treble A batteries into there. Also included we've got the two feet for the TV to stand on. So one there, and they marked left and right, possibly somewhere. So we've got an R there for right. And on this one, we've got an L indicating left. In this little bag here. We've got the sort of cable guides that will go on the back of the feet when it's on the TV. So you see it's got two little nobbles there for this to locate to. There and same on the other foot. So we can guide the cables down the back of the TV and behind the legs so they're not visible or as visible from the front. We've got two 14mm M4 screws and I guess they're for attaching the feet on those through holes to the back of the TV. TV's now laid face down. I've used the box and the polythene sheet that comes with it. Now I'm going to put these feet on the bottom first. I don't know if it shows up what we've got marked right and left there. So right foot onto there. Okay, so I don't know if it shows up. We've also got a slot in there to locate here. Threaded hole there for the screw to drop into. So pop that into there. The two M4 screws there and there. Okay, just before I zoom into the connections there, we can also see we've got the figure eight mains input there. Also 100 mil square, visa mount, taking M4 bolts, but we'll look at that closer in a moment. 
closely looking at the connections, we can see we've got a digital optical audio out, USB half an amp, USB at one amp indicated for hard drive, HDMI free is enhanced audio return channel, HDMI is one and two, so three HDMI's in total, got satellite antenna input and terrestrial aerial input as well. You can also see there we've got the LAN or wired internet input. Also peel this sticker off here to attach the CI card slot reader. Onto the dimensions, one of the most important will be the width of these feet. At its widest point, it's 65 centimeters or 25 and a half inches. From whatever it stood on to the top of the TV, 47 and a half centimeters or 18 and three quarter inches, five and a half centimeters and just under two and a quarter inches to the bottom of the TV. From the back, if we're looking at the dimension, from the bottom of the TV to the center of the first visa mount hole, it's 24 and a half centimeters and it's a 100 mil square visa. Thickness wise, at the thickest point, it's 30.5 millimeters. I've now connected wide internet aerial and main, so I'm gonna turn it on. So first thing it's asking there is set it up by smartphone or remote control. I'm gonna go remote step by step. You can see it's, the remote's just pairing to it now by Bluetooth. UK, pop your four digit pin in just for if you need to set up or apply any parental locks. Tells me there I've got my aerial connected, terrestrial and digital. Wired connection for the network. I'm gonna agree to all there and say okay. Quick check for software updates, if it does have one, I'll let it do the update and I'll pause the video, come back when it's complete. And we'll say now. Okay, update is complete, it's rebooted, we're at this stage now, so you can log in here with your Samsung account, which you'll need if you're going to download apps or use the voice command. So I'm actually going to log in, just so we can do the voice command as well. Now we're signed into the Samsung account. It offers us to back up data as well, should we wish, if we ever need to reset or we get another TV we want to transfer the data to. Okay, so postcode there for regional settings. Asks us there, I'm gonna pick Bixby for the voice command because it does work, but choose your voice command service, whether it's Bixby, Alexa or Google Assistant. Go Bixby. Also there, quick away link in your app so you can link your Amazon Prime accounts and some other accounts using your phone. Okay. Start watching TV. Channel 107. The subject would have to be Fantastic Beasts. Sign up. Huge crowd strong in those centers. Okay, so down to Germany general. has now said that it does support what it calls targeted restrictions on Russia's access down to, to power and energy saving payment system. It's also sending weapons to the Ukrainian. The brightness optimization automatically adjusts the, the brightness dependent on ambient Ukraine. light. So Gaming I'm going to take it off because I'm in the showroom. At home, I probably leave that on. Ukraine Motion lighting off under Russian control. Our international and auto TV power off, Gerard I'm going to turn off as Ukraine. well. That's an inactivity standby timer. The rush to Kiev, a capital and it tells me also below while we're on it, available remote battery. Morning. There was uh, I'm going to exit out of here. I'll shut my mouth and turn up the sound so we can hear a normal TV sound. From the skies, ready to strike as they did here, just an hour outside the capital. 
Well, this is what we've come across on the road to Kiev. This convoy was obviously travelling to the city to be part of the defence of Kiev. This is an air defence missile system. It was hit yesterday. The smoke is still rising here. And here too, after an early morning strike on a block of flats near Kiev's Giuliani airport. The authorities here say it was a Russian missile strike. Latest reports say two people were killed here. It could have been far more, but many locals had already fled or taken cover in shelters. Yuri Shevchuk, who lives nearby, says the West must help. I wanted to say uh, for you, for your governments, because that we are in need, urgently in need, as soon as possible, as much as possible, we are in need uh, anti-aircraft missiles, we are in need anti-tank missiles, we okay. need... I'm just going to go on to the retail mode settings, check out the retail demo, so back to the home. I wanted to say President Putin that... Only one way for him. System way manager. Well, this is what Kiev woke up to this morning. All of this construction is in a residential Pop your area pin in. in a European city. And there is a real sense on to here retail now mode. that nowhere in the capital is safe. Okay, so I'm just going to put it back to home mode and put the eco settings back out of work. comes under siege itself, and men and women are signing up for weapons, ready to fight against troops sent by President Okay, so back to live TV again. I have done the voice command button as well, so if I hold down the button and say something, it'll take me there. So I could say channel 106. which isn't broadcasting at the moment, but fair enough. Or I can say YouTube Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. So it takes me there and I will say I'm going to use that as a demo next gen game trailer. So I'll say credit to Ubisoft because it is their content. But I just want to use it to demo the TV.
pretty cool. So credit again to Ubisoft and on my voice command remote, I can just say exit. Back to live TV again. In the channel and escorted it to northern France. Baltic leader belongs to a Russian company okay. that is targeted by the European Just going to look at the home menu quickly before I go. So press the home button, you can see all the way to the left there, we've got the settings with the e-manual and so on above and some of the shortcuts, source or input, smart things there, search, apps, so we can go in there and download more apps, multi-view, the home menu, Samsung TV plus some on-demand content from Samsung, live TV, Netflix, Prime, BBC iPlayer, ITV Hub, Disney Plus, Now TV, Rakuten, Apple TV, also got Apple screen mirroring in there, all four, Samsung Health, so you can do exercises there in front of the TV, YouTube, internet, plug in your basic Bluetooth keyboard there for basic internet browsing, Alexa, Google, my five so all in all it's a decent tv for a 32 it's only 1080p but then it's only 32 inches it's got decent if not surprising sound for a thin small television so if you're limited by space i think in my eyes it's the best tv you're gonna get it is about 400 quid in the uk which to be honest you can buy tvs from I don't know, tesco or anywhere at half the price but they usually fail in about 12 13 months when you when your guarantee is gone so if it was me in my house and i could afford it that would be the 32 i'd go for and that's all for now Whoosh.